Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little favor for my grandma. We, a couple months ago, I think around Christmas time, well not, that's not a couple months ago, that's been a little bit ago, but um, we got her these uh, Night Owl camera systems. We're going to be installing that for her today. Uh, we got a couple things going on here. We got to mount four cameras. We have to run the wires to the DVR box, to the DVR box, to the TV, and get everything set up right to where everything works. So that's what we're going to start on today. First place that we're going to start at is at the TV with the DVR box. Get it hooked up to the DVR and get everything back there hooked up. So all I have to do is plug in our cameras and we're good to go. Alright guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this is the DVR box that came with it. You can see it says Night Owl. Right here on the back of it we have an HDMI and a VGA. Uh, basically you're going to pick one of those. If you want to hook it to a monitor, like a computer monitor, you want to go with the VGA. Or if you have a newer one, you can go ahead and do it with HDMI. Pretty much everything's HDMI now, so you shouldn't have any trouble with that. Um, you're going to have an LAN. I don't know if you have to have the internet part of it or not. We'll find that out later. And then these are going to be our four camera inputs. So, um, and then this is going to be your power source. So, pretty pretty simple stuff. That, that That's the DVR box. Right here, we have what comes with it. We have a mouse so that you can control it. Um, we have the power block. This is a... This is a one. This is a DC converter, so it's going to convert the 120 volt power from the outlet to the 12 volt DC for the um, box. And then the last thing that we have is an HDMI cable. That's just going to hook you from the TV to the DVR box. All right, guys. So now we're just hooking up the HDMI cord. I'm going to look up our HDMI ports. I don't want to see them. Oh, here we go. HDMI input one. That's where we want to go. So we have HDMI in one right there. Then pick this thing up. We're just gonna go with our HDMI in. Now we have um a con good job, David. Now we have a connection to the TV. Um, they actually went to the store to get a plug strip, so we're waiting on that before we can do our 12 volt power source. Um, but we've been figuring out some stuff with the cameras. We figured out where we're gonna put them. We'll just have to drill some holes and run wires, and then after that, we're good to go. So right now we're going to go and drill two holes right there for two of our camera feeds. One of the cameras is going to face towards this door right here and the other one is going to face that way towards this door. We would do one in the corner shining out but there's this gigantic shrub right here and I don't know if, I mean if we, if she, even if she cuts it and we put a camera there, um, it'll grow back up again and then you can't see anything. So we don't want to run that, we just want to do it the easiest way possible. So right now he's going to drill holes and I'm going to go up there and run the wire. Alright guys, so we have our wires ran. This is the two I was just talking about a minute ago, where one shines that way, the other one shines that way. Now we have to actually put up the night owl cameras. Um, basically, the way this works is this part unscrews from our base right here. Uh, what I recommend doing is going ahead and plugging it in and letting it hang while you screw this up there. And then the night owl camera just turns into place. So, shouldn't be anything too complicated. I'm going to go ahead and install this one and uh, go from there. So what we've done here is we have our plug strip and we have two AC to DC converters here. We have one that goes to the actual Night Owl DVR box and then we have the other one that comes out here to this thing. This is going to be the power for your cameras. So whenever you have your camera wires, you're going to have this one right here. This is the one that's going to receive the actual video part. This is the one that's going to supply power. So the power comes straight from it because there's two DCs. So one DC comes in here, the other one's right here. And this one has a splitter that splits into four and you have one for each camera so it's pretty straightforward so what we're going to do now is we're just going to hook it all up and test everything out all right guys so up there you can see that is going to be our third camera this one's going to face the driveway so that you know if someone's coming up on the driveway here we can see and uh, we'll be good to go from there all right so what we did yesterday we did this off camera um we just kind of mocked up the ethernet we just kind of have it around 
we left the house right now. We're, we're fixing that today. Um, but we can only get three out of four cameras done. And that's because we had to buy a camera extender wire. Because this house is bigger than, I guess, what this is ready for or whatever. I don't know. This is actually a little common thing. But anyway, we we're only really about 30 feet short. But all I could find this morning was 100 foot. So that's what we got. We're going to work with it. And um, we're going to go ahead and get that last camera hooked up. And then while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and patch up the internet cable. We're going to get it permanently rammed. So basically, it just comes from the TV right back there. But, uh... We are going to be running it underneath to uh, to try to make it make it work out good. So that's the current plan, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the crawl space here in a minute. All right, guys. So we're down here on the crawl space now. This is our camera wire that is supposed to connect directly to the back of the DVR. As you can see, it's down here on the crawl space. Um, I'll actually show you where this camera ends, but if you'll follow it, it goes up there through that block wall, through that hole right there. And it goes all the way across to the garage. So, this one is actually the furthest away from the DVR box, which is why it was a little short. So, what we've got here is, can you hold this light too? And record? Okay, thank you. Um, so, what we've got here is, th this one right here, this is our little connector for the actual video input. So, these just slide together pretty easily, and then we're good to go. And then, everything just plugs in. So... And there, there's our connections. If you want to tape this up, you can. I'm not going to. I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, but if you want to tape it up to keep it from weather, this stuff says it's weatherproof. So, but I mean, also this is underneath the house. There's not a lot of water that comes in down here. So, the only thing that you have to worry about is rodents. But they could chew up this wire at any given moment or any of these wires down here. So, with that being said. Now we have well now we have our connections down here. The only other thing that we have to do in this cross space is run the Ethernet. And we'll do that in a minute. But first, we're going to go ahead and get our last camera hooked up. Alright guys, so right here is the one that we just finished running. It's right above the garage. As you can see, there's the cross space where we were over there. And this is currently facing that way towards that green F-150 sitting there. Um, so right now what we're going to be doing is... Which, by the way, I will talk to you guys about that some more later. Um... But, um, but yeah, what we're going to be doing is adjusting this thing to where it's just right. And then after that, we'll run our other net. All right, guys, so we're out here adjusting them today. How you adjust them is this little screw right here. I don't know if you can see it. But right now, this one's locked down tight. What you can do is you can adjust it. You can get an angle on it. Back it out a little bit. Then get somebody on the other end with a walkie-talkie or something. All right. Tell me whatever I'm good. sure all of our cameras work and we're connected to the internet so as you can see we now have four working cameras we have our kitchen front porch back porch and our uh, garage so now we are all good um, quick note about this truck right here this truck does not have a title so we can't actually do anything with it until we get a title for it that's the story about that truck um, just in case you're wondering I don't know if you were anyways and as you can see there's some little kitties played right there there's little kitties right there. Can you mark it down, move. Anyway, there's kitties there. So, all right. Okay, guys. In all honesty, this project isn't really that hard. Um, the hardest part of it is getting in the attic and getting in the basement. There's probably spider webs in my hair from the basement. Um, 
or in the crawl space in this case this one doesn't have a basement so crawl space um, and running the wires that's honestly the most difficult part everything on the DVR box is just plug in it just plugs right in you're good to go and uh, then the, I mean the setup for the cameras isn't even that tough you could probably figure it out by the manual if you have this security system I don't want to talk about like how the actual system operates because this is a general video this is a general idea of how you're supposed to do it so basically you have four leads that run from the DVR box to the cameras and then you have one from from that to the TV and then you have internet if you if yours has an app um, if it doesn't have an app then that's probably you don't have to have Ethernet it is optional so the cameras will work without Ethernet just to be completely clear you don't have to have it but we ran it because she wanted to use her app and she already had she already had a router here all, all we had to do is plug it in we didn't have to install a router or any of that so we were good to go there anyways with all that being said guys I want to thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like let me know if I should do more of these type of things, if you're enjoying them, if you're doing the style of video, just 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 let me know what's up. Anyway guys, until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.